this comes back on the writers. And I know Dave Filoni is taking some heat uh, right now um, because of that. Uh, some of the writers are throwing him under the bus saying, well, it's Dave Filoni's fault because he's the one who's who's okaying these scripts and stuff like that. And I think it gets back to the fact that, um, well, let's take a look right now. We, uh, who are the writing people for these? Because I think it's important. Let's take a look and who see who wrote episode four. So the writers for this um, were Clary, Core, and Leslie. Well, Leslie, she's a showrunner. So let's take a look and see what credits Claire has. So um, they were a writer for Watchmen, uh, for the QA. Um, and so it's interesting to see um, that they've written. So they've written for TV before, which is good. They wrote nine episodes of The Watchmen and the QA, and both of those series have a pretty decent score, seven point eight. So that they, so they've been a, they've been a writer before, so that's been good. Um, let's take a look at this particular guy, Core. Um, so he wrote for Mr. Robot, Dune. Uh, was producer for that. Um, and then Mr. Robot, he, he did write, write uh, for the video game as well, too. So he's done a little bit of writing. So he's done six episodes for Time for Passion, which I have no idea what that is. Mr. Robot, the video game he wrote for that. Mr. Robot, he wrote two episodes from 2016 to 2017. He wrote one episode for... So... If you look at this, he really hasn't written that much. I mean, between 2022 and 2011, he's written a total of eight episodes or something. Uh, now, I'm going to take a look at something. Um, I want to see sort of a difference between that. So let's go to NCIS. Um, let's just go to Hawaii. We'll just pick one of their newer ones. We'll take an episode. Um, so this has got a little bit better rated. So it's a 6.7. So it's about twice the amount. So let's take a look at the writers from this particular episode. So let's see how much experience they have or how many, how much stuff they've written. So this particular writer here, um, producer, writer. All right. So yeah, dark and plint. So, all right. So as we take a look at the first writer here, he's written 54 episodes of NCIS Hawaii. Um, four episodes of N. So you can see the the amount he's done a lot more work than the previous. He's done more work uh, as one writer on this particular thing than um, the writers in episode uh, three did. We'll take a look at the next writer as well too, because maybe that's just the head writer. So let's take a look again. Producer, yada, yada, yada. We don't want producers. We want writer. Again, look at here. NCIS Hawaii, 54 episodes. NCIS New Orleans, seven episodes. You can see the amount of episodes that they have. Ton of episodes. Look at how many episodes they have. They have tons. These two writers here have more, probably more show credits than the Acolyte. And we'll take a look at the last writer. This is for NCIS. So a show that's about twice as good. And then we get get to writing. Let's go down to the writing. Again, 54 episodes of NCIS. 24 episodes of NCIS New Orleans. NCIS 32 episodes. So you can see they have done a lot of writing. And so what is Star Wars doing? I mean, they are really just hiring some basic writers that uh, for um, the Acolyte who hardly have any credits at all, um, you're giving them a $200 million budget to write these eight episodes. And now you have, um, you look at shows like NCIS, which costs, I think, probably a lot less than that. They have people with a lot more writers on there, with a lot more experience. And I think that really glaringly shows. And so we shouldn't be surprised when um, uh, the acolyte is so bad is because they don't have writers with the right amount of talent. And it's not the writer's fault. You know, they have to cut their teeth somewhere, but I get it. But why are they having them cut their... Why, why aren't they pairing them with somebody who's been in the industry for quite a while? I think it's very interesting. You have young writers who don't have a lot of experience trying to create these episodes. And so it shouldn't be a surprise that 
uh, it is the way it, that it is.